Hi you guys, I hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous day. I think today is Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. But I wanted to do a video that has been highly requested from you guys and it is my everyday makeup routine. And I just got done filming it so you guys will see me without makeup and the process. Um, it kind of took longer than normal because I've never done a makeup tutorial before. And I added a little bit more than I normally wear just because I'm going out uh, with my sister today. I'm not just like running errands by myself. So it's a little bit more than normal, but I tell you all the products that I'm using and um, all the tools that I'm using. So if you have any questions, just comment below, but let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, here I am with absolutely nothing on my face and it's driving me crazy because my skin feels so dry. I usually do my makeup first and then my hair, but I did my hair first. So I wanted to do this video right now because I wanted to show you guys like I do not have perfect skin. A few weeks ago, I had like crazy breakouts. My skin has been really, really great the past year or so, but as you can see, I have a lot of breakouts. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys um, what I do to kind of cover this all up. So the first thing I do is prep my skin. I'm just gonna use this alcohol-free skin toner. This is the Up and Up brand, it's from Target. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. And I just recently started using toner again. I noticed that it makes a big difference with my skin. And then I'm going to use for my moisturizer the Aveeno Positively Radiant SPF 15 Daily Moisturizer. I'm gonna put that much on there, but this is like the most amazing moisturizer I've ever found in my entire life. So now I'm gonna put on my concealers. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my eye concealer and this is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless. This is in 215, it's an eye concealer and it's really creamy. I've been using this for a long time and it is awesome. I don't like eye concealers that are really dry. I'll show you a product in a second. So now that I've done my eye concealer, I'm going to cover up. I don't have any active breakouts right now. As you can see, it's just like red dots from where my acne was. So now I'm going to put concealer there. And this is the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Corrector Concealer. This is in the color light medium. And it looks like this. I just recently got this. And it clicks up. And I'm just going to dot this where all my red marks are and around my nose. And it's funny because the display of this said that this is like an under eye concealer as well and I used it as that and I don't like it at all. So I just like it like a normal concealer. So now that I've done concealer, I'm gonna be putting on my foundation and for like five, six years, I was using MAC Studio Fix and it was just like really fast and it was great, but I noticed that it started, my skin started changing or something, but it started being really drying on me. So back in, when was it, 2008, when I got back from Ukraine, I switched to Bare Minerals, and this is just the original formula. And it has SPF 15 in it, and this is just the medium beige, and I'm obsessed with this. I know some people are like very anti-mineral foundations, but this is amazing coverage, and I don't like liquid foundation. I feel like it's too cakey looking too fake so it came with a kabuki brush but my dog ate it so i had to buy another kabuki brush and i bought this one from eco tools it's a travel one and i bought this so that my dog couldn't chew it he just loved the fluffy kabuki so you just take it off and it comes out like this and then i pour the foundation out you're supposed to pour it in like this and then you swirl it and tap and then you buff it onto your skin it's just such great light coverage. And I used the matte formula of this for a while and it didn't really matter because I don't really have like that oily of skin. Somebody just sent me a text. So, and the more you buff it in, like the more you do the circular mo motions, the more coverage you're gonna get. It's very, very buildable. So, yeah, that's the foundation part. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know, I just told myself, awesome. That's kind of awkward. So now that I have the foundation done, I'm gonna prep my eyes with the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in um, the color Too Cool, so it's the white one. And people use this a lot for highlight, but I kind of just like to use this as a base, just for a primer for my eyes. And the eye concealer that I was using also has a primer in it, but I just like this to kind of enhance the color of the eyeshadows I'm gonna put on. 
And like I said, this is a very, very like natural, simple look that I do when I'm on the go. So it's a lot faster, but I use my finger with this. I find it's a lot easier. So it's kind of funny because it makes it like frosty, just like in the 90s, we love frosty looks back then, um, but it will change, you'll see. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And I'm growing out my eyebrows again. That's why like one side grows more than the other. This one has more than this one. So I'm still growing it out. So I'm just gonna use my Revlon Brow Fantasy. And it has the pencil on this side and then the gel on this side. So it's awesome. And it really stays on like all day. And run errands, do all this stuff, and it will stay on all day. And then I'm gonna top it with the gel. And now that my eyeshadow has set, I'm going to be putting on my eyeshadows. So the first color is Soft Brown by MAC. And it's just a matte brown color. And I just wanted to use this to cover up like the frostiness of the white. And I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And it just has a tip like this. It's just wide. It's really good for like all over lid application. Just gonna put it all over my lid and kind of work it into the crease a little bit. These are all like really neutral colors because that's what I like. I'm wearing like a bright pink shirt today too, so I'm gonna go shopping with my sister, me and Will are. <laughs> or properly, I should say, Will and I. So that's just all over the lid. And then I'm gonna be taking this color called Time and Space, and it's a frosty color, and it was a limited edition MAC color. Um, just kind of a really cool bronzy, coppery color. Look how shiny that is. Um, so I'm going to take this Sephora blending eye brush. It's like a really thin blending brush, but I use this in the crease, so. Take a little and tap it off, and then work it on the outside. And then work it on the other side. Just kind of work it on the eyelid as well. Now that I've blended that in, I'm just gonna be using this highlight. This is Brulee MAC, just a matte vanilla color. And I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow brush again from e.l.f. I'm just gonna add it to under my brow and on my inner eye. This is so weird for me to be doing a makeup tutorial because I've never done it before because I'm not a makeup person. This is just like my simple routine. Um, and it, but I've watched like a billion, so it's kind of weird to actually be doing it. So. There are my eyes. Now that I've done my eyes, I'll come back and do the mascara in a minute, but I'm going to be doing my bronzer and my blush. It seems like I'm using a lot of products, but I don't necessarily do every single one of these products every single day, but this is something just a little special for you guys when I'm like going out to lunch with a friend, kind of want to look a little bit more special than just running errands. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. contour blush and bronzing powder kit. So it has the bronzer and then the blush, and then this is an Eco Tools blush brush. It's so soft. So I'm gonna be taking the bronzer first, just lightly tapping, and just kind of contouring a little bit. A little bit on the other side. I'm just gonna lightly dust it. I can't wait till I'm like really tan, maybe one day I will be. Okay, and then I'm gonna be using the pink right here, just like a frosty pink. I hope you guys can even like see what I'm doing. Is it even like showing up? Okay, you guys know I love this highlighting product. It's the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. And what I do is I squeeze it out on my hand, just like that. Sorry, I have a swatch on there for something else. And I'm just gonna use my finger. Actually, I should use this finger because the other one had an eyeshadow on it. But I'm just gonna put it as a highlight right here. You can just see right there, it's like, bam. <laughs> Adds a lot of highlight. I think I put a little bit too much. But then I like to put it like on my nose, right here on my chin. Yeah, it looks really bright, but it's not that bright right here in real life. Okay, and then to kind of mattify that, I take this Eco Tools it's a bronzer brush and it's super fluffy and thick. And I use this golden bronzer from e.l.f. 
I like love this stuff. You can tell. Kind of reminds me of like a shimmer brick from Chanel or whatever. So I'm gonna add this right here just to kind of mattify that so it's not so shiny. And then I'm just gonna finish up with my eyes and my lip. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I just noticed that my battery's dying, so I better hurry up. And then I'm gonna be using L'Oreal Voluminous Original. And my sister, I did her makeup a while ago, and she was like, this is making my eyelashes look so long. I don't know if it's the eyelash curler or the eye, um, the mascara, but she really liked it. So I think you guys are really good too. I've gone through so many. Now that I've finished my whole face, I'm just gonna finish my lips. So like I said, if I'm just running errands, I just won't wear this much makeup. So I'll just put like a gloss on. But today, since I'm doing a video, I thought I would do something a little bit more. So I'm gonna be using my EOS lip balm. This is, I think, Sweet Mint. This is a really good color. Or it's color. It's a cute color, but it's a really good flavor. And then after I put the chapstick on, I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl lipstick in Delish. It's just like a pretty neutral color. And my sister got this for me for Christmas and it is It Girl by Smashbox. I can't read, but it looks really bright and pink, but it helps bring color to the color I just had, but not like too much. So it's a really pretty. Do you like that line that I just made? I do. <laughs> okay, so that is my look. This is pretty much my everyday look. I added a couple extra things just because I'm going shopping and going to lunch with my sister. So I wanted to look a little bit more um, done up than I normally do. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know below if you would like to see more videos like this. Or let me know some of your favorite products. A lot of my products have transitioned from like MAC and Laura Mercier to more drugstore brands. Um, I figured that they work basically the same. They stay just as long and they're just a lot cheaper. So thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.